Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about NGEM. E N G E M. In this video, we are going to discuss about enzyme, their properties, and their structure. Okay. Before going to their properties and structure, we have to know that what is this enzyme means. Okay. We have to know that what is this enzyme means and what is this and where it is found. See, the meaning of enzyme is here N. Here N means in and zyme refers to fungi yeast. So, the literal meaning of enzyme is in yeast. The literal meaning of enzyme is yeast. What happened? Until the 19th century, until the 19th century, it was thought that the fermentation of fermentation of alcohol to sugar, sorry, yes, fermentation of sugar to alcohol is possible only inside the living cell. This is possible only inside the living cell. But Buchner brothers, but two scientists, Buchner brothers, it was they proved that Buchner brothers proved that this fermentation of sugar could be possible outside the cell also. Could be possible outside the cell also. How? For the outside the cell, fermentation of fermentation outside the cell, they use a yeast extract juice. Yeast extract or you may say yeast juice. These Buchner brothers use this yeast juice or yeast extract through this help of this yeast juice, they perform this fermentation outside the cell. So, from this experiment, scientist Kuhn, William Kuhn, K-U-H-N-E, William Kuhn named the agent present in this yeast juice, named the agent present in this juice, which helps in the fermentation, named this agent as enzyme. So, what is this agent or what is the main function of this agent here? The main function is it catalyzes, it catalyzes or mediate, M-E-D-I-A-T-E, -E, mediate the fermentation process. So, this is this agent which present in the yeast juice is nothing but the enzyme. So, what is the enzyme? It is a mediator. Enzyme is mediator, we may say mediator, M E D I A T O R, mediator or catalyte, catalysis, which catalysis or fasten the biochemical reaction, which fasten, F A S T E N, fasten or catalyzes, catalyzes the biochemical reaction. Okay, so this is the meaning of enzyme. What are these enzymes? These enzymes are the biocatalyst or they are the mediators of biochemical reaction. They fasten a biochemical reaction. They are present inside a cell. Where are they present? They are generally present inside the cells and they are made up of biomolecules. So this is the general concept of enzyme. What is enzyme? Okay. And how this is discovered? Then we are going to discuss what is the what are the properties of enzyme then properties of enzyme till now we know that what is this enzyme what is enzyme these are the biocatalyst or they are the mediators of the biochemical reaction that means they fasten a biochemical reaction but there are some properties of enzyme in which uh, in which biomolecules they are made up of and what is their chemical reaction types and how they chemical react or how they fasten a biochemical reaction. So, these are included in their properties. The first property is their chemical nature. 
इन केमिकल नेचर ऑल एंजेंस आर ऑल एंजेंस आर ग्लोबुलर प्रोटीन ग्लोबुलर प्रोटीन्स एंड दे आर सोल्यूबल इन एक्वस मीडियम ऑल एंजेंस आर जनरली ग्लोबुलर प्रोटीन्स ग्लोबुलर ऑल एंजेंस आर जनरली ग्लोबुलर प्रोटीन्स दे आर प्रोटीन्स एंड दे आर जनरली सोल्यूबल इन एक्वस मीडियम ओके then their size they are colloidal particle size c o l l i d l colloidal particle size this is their chemical nature they are the globular proteins they are soluble in aqueous medium and they are generally globular proteins then second one their protein nature protein nature see all enzymes are proteins all generally generally all enzymes are proteins but all proteins are not enzyme but all proteins are not enzymes see for an example all indian cricketers are indians but all indians are not the indian cricketers like that all enzymes are proteins but all proteins are not enzymes there are various various types of proteins are there there are various types of proteins like carrier proteins this is catalytic protein catalytic protein is known as enzyme there are carrier proteins there are structural proteins also so there are various types of proteins and this enzyme is a type of a protein which type of protein it is a catalytic protein that means it catalyzes or fasten a biochemical reaction so this is the protein nature of the enzyme then the next point is they are catalytic pro property catalytic property catalytic property refers to they are catalysis they are catalysis that means they catalyzes a biochemical reaction they catalyzes a biochemical reaction that means they fasten or they mediate a biochemical reaction they help a biochemical reaction so that they will convert into product as fast as it could be possible see here a plus b these are the substrates these are generally substrate we may say when this substrate bind with the enzymes then they form the product this c may be a c is the product when this substrate bind with enzyme then they form product easily so this is the catalytic property of the enzyme that means they these enzymes catalyzes a biochemical reaction that means they fasten or mediate a biochemical reaction then the next property is there reusability 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 re means again usability means they are using so after the biochemical reaction we get as much as enzyme we provided earlier if we provide this much enzyme then we will get this enzyme undisturbed okay the amount of enzyme if we provide 90% then we will get 90% enzyme after the biochemical reaction the amount of biochemical reaction is undisturbed and we can use this enzyme in the next biochemical reaction also so this is called the reusability property of enzyme that means enzyme is usable again and again we can use a enzyme again and again after the biochemical reaction it is called the reusability property then the next property is the reversibility property r e v r s i b i l i t y reversibility property reversibility property means enzymes can catalyzes both forward and backward reaction this is forward reaction symbol for forward and backward reaction these enzymes can enzymes can catalyzes both forward and backward reaction okay this is the reversibility nature of the enzyme that means enzymes can catalyzes both forward and backward reaction then the next property is there low concentration 
लो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन मीन्स ए सेल पोजेसेस ए वेरी लो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ एंजाइम इन ए सेल ए सेल पोजेसेस वेरी लो कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ एंजाइम बिकॉज एंजाइम्स आर फंक्शनल इन ए लो अमाउंट और इन ए स्मॉल अमाउंट आज एंजाइम्स आर फंक्शनल इन ए वेरी स्मॉल अमाउंट very small amount that's why that's why the cell possesses p o s s e p o s e s possesses very low amount of enzyme and this is called the low concentration property of enzyme that means a cell possesses a very low amount of enzyme because the enzymes are functional in their small amount also so this is the sixth property that low concentration the next property is seventh property that seventh property is they are specific to temperature temperature specific temperature specific the concentration the function of enzyme is depend upon temperature function of enzyme depends upon the value of temperature that means the optimum temperature optimum temperature is 25 to 30 degree celsius for enzyme action optimum temperature what is the optimum temperature temperature it is the favorable temperature in 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 which temperature that enzyme can be function easily so it is the favorable temperature or the best temperature for the enzyme action and this enzyme action best temperature for the enzyme action is 25 to 30 degree celsius in this temperature enzyme function easily but when temperature increases after 40 degree celsius so beyond 40 degree celsius then the function of the enzyme decreases so the optimum temperature or the best favorable temperature of enzyme action is 25 to 30 degree celsius and when the temperature increases beyond 40 degree celsius then the amount or the action or the function of the enzyme decreases this is called the temperature specific then the reusability finish reversibility finish then another property is the specificity 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 means a particular enzyme a particular enzyme binds with a particular substrate okay a particular enzyme only binds with a particular substrate to form a enzyme substrate complex which then forms the product okay so this is called the specificity there is a specific enzyme for a specific substrate or we may say there is a specific substrate for a specific type of enzyme this is called the specific specificity of the enzyme no not the, not that like that a enzyme could react with any substrate this is not possible because there is a particular type of substrate present for a particular group of enzyme so this is called as specificity where a particular type of enzyme binds with only a particular type of substrate so these are some properties of enzyme we discussed then we will say then we are going to discuss about what are the structure of enzyme structure of enzyme structure structure of enzyme as i said earlier enzymes are generally protein in nature that means there are generally actually there are generally two types of pro enzymes one which are called simple enzyme simple enzyme and another is called conjugate enzyme simple enzyme and conjugate enzyme the simple enzymes are only made up of proteins only made up of proteins but conjugate enzymes are made up of a protein part protein part and non protein part okay simple enzymes are only made up of proteins conjugate enzymes are made up of a protein part and a non protein part this protein part is called apo enzyme a p o e n z y m apo enzyme and this non protein part is called cofactor non protein part is called cofactor see 
suppose this is the apoenzyme suppose this is the protein part protein part this protein part is called your apoenzyme and another part is there non protein part this is called your cofactor see this cofactor is again of two types sometimes the cofactor is made up of organic substance organic substances in some time this cofactor is made up of inorganic substances inorganic substances if the cofactor is made up of organic substances then this is called coenzyme vitamins etc these are called coenzymes so this apoenzyme when react with cofactor this will give a complete structure of enzyme see this is this is the complete structure of enzyme this is apoenzyme protein part this is non protein part this complete part of enzyme when apoenzyme and cofactor present together this is called hollow enzyme h o l o hollow enzyme when apoenzyme and non protein part that is your cofactor present together that is called hollow enzyme it is easy to remember hollow hollow comes from whole w h o l e whole whole means when you are saying total this so hollow comes from whole w h o l e that means when we are saying total things that's why the when protein part and non protein part present together this is called a hollow enzyme and the only protein part is called apoenzyme and the non protein part is called cofactor when this cofactor is made up of organic substance it is called coenzyme and when it is made up of only inorganic substance there is no specific name okay so this is the general structure of the enzyme okay then this enzyme have two different sites enzyme has as i said earlier enzyme is globular in structure enzyme is globular in structure this enzyme has generally two sites <coughs> enzyme generally two sites one is called active site another is called allosteric site allosteric site <coughs> in active site the substrate comes comes and bind substrate active site facilitate to the binding of a substrate molecule that means only substrate molecule comes and bind to the active site what is substrate molecule which react with the enzyme and become the product <coughs> this a or this is the substrate molecule substrate react with enzyme to form the product and at the allosteric site a regulator molecule binds a regulator molecule <coughs> A regulator molecules means which regulate the action of this enzyme so this is the enzyme this here it is protein part and non protein part both present together this is a hollow enzyme <coughs> hollow enzyme consists of two sites one is active site another is allosteric site in active site substrate molecule comes and bind and at allosteric site regulator molecule comes and bind substrate molecule refers to the molecule which react with enzyme to form the product and regulator molecule refer to that in that molecule which regulate the mechanism of enzyme action or which regulate the function of the enzyme so this is the normal structure of the enzyme where it may be simple enzyme or conjugate enzyme generally maximum enzymes are conjugate enzymes where protein and non protein parts both are present and uh, that is called hollow enzyme this hollow enzyme has two sides one is called active site another is called allosteric site okay so this is the general structure of the enzyme so in this video we discussed about what is enzyme what is the what is their properties general properties and what is their general structure so this much in this video for the discussion we will occur in the next video and thanks for watching and i hope you will subscribe the channel and if you didn't subscribe till then subscribe our channel and share if you like this video with your needy friends okay thank you and thanks for watching